Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission holding a virtual meeting today that could have lasting impact on the Apalachicola Bay area for years to come. News 13's Anna Hoffman live now in Franklin County with the latest. Anna, what changes can the area expect? Jerry, Apalachicola is known as the oyster capital of the world, but starting on August 1st, restaurants may not be able to serve these Apalachicola oysters in their, on their menus anymore. In what was a unanimous vote, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission moved forward with a five-year plan to replenish the bay's oyster supply that has been rapidly declining over the last few years. In the meeting, a plan was presented to restore the oysters by banning oyster harvesting and prohibiting on-the-water possession of wildlife oyster harvesting equipment. A $20 million grant is also included in the plan for restoration efforts. This has got to be one of the most exciting projects that we have in front of us that we've undertaken in the past. I mean, if we are really able to restore Apalachicola Bay and to bring this fishery back, that would be one exciting, exciting success. A plan to implement this executive order was also discussed, which includes calling on law enforcement to make sure the new rules are carried out. Eric Sutton, executive director for the FWC, said they will continue to remain emotionally, financially, and scientifically invested in what many consider a Florida treasure. According to the FWC, the commission will not make their final decision on whether these plans should be implemented until their October commission meeting. But for now, the executive order will take effect on August 1st. In Apalachicola, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong.